Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, slowing down video in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, when you're slowing down footage, you're really just taking the video that's there and you're adding frames, uh, you're duplicating frames. Now, I'm gonna show you in a different demo on how to do this in After Effects that does a much better job. For a quick down and dirty way to go, Premiere Pro can make this happen. Uh, let's go have a look. So here we've got some video and I'll play this and this is normal speed video and I wanna slow this down. I'm gonna show you several ways of doing this and you should decide on one way of doing it and just stick with that. Uh, the easiest way is to right click, or one of the ways, is to right click and choose speed duration for that clip. And you'll see a number. The duration right now, I could either change the duration and it will change the speed or change the speed and it change the duration as long as these are locked. So if I go to 50%, my duration is twice as long. I can also reverse the speed and ripple edit uh, the, the trailing clips. This simply means that when you're slowing things down, the video clip will actually get longer and you want it to push all the clips down. But you know what? The best idea is if you're using footage and changing the speed, put it on its own track in the timeline. That way it won't interfere with anything else. But let's just change this. Actually, let me duplicate this so you can see the difference between these two clips and right click, speed, 50% and you can see it gets longer. And now when I play this back, there we go, it's slower. And this is, like I said, this is fine and down and dirty and you'll notice that as I'm tapping forward two frames two frames two frames two frames it doesn't doesn't seem like it moves between that frame and that frame and that's because this kind of slowing down is really just duplicating the exact same frames that are there it's not using a technique that that more powerful systems use called optical flow that rebuilds all of the extra frames inside there uh, th something like Twixtor and After Effects, which I'll get to in another uh, demo to show you how that's done. But that is a quick and easy way to do it. You're simply just changing it now 50%. I'll show you another way to do this. Let me go back to my speed, put this to 100%. And we actually have a little tool, a rate stretch tool, which is the R key. You just come over to a clip and drag the end out and you'll see there's a little tool tip down at the bottom telling me my new duration and the time code involved. So now when I hit play, the same thing. I'm slowing this down. What this is really good for is if timing wise, let's say a specific clip is just a tiny bit too short. Um, and you can just stretch it. Sometimes you're just stretching this like 1% or a half a percent just to fill up a gap because the timing has to be a certain way. That's a good way to work. Now, let me uh, take this back to zero and let's open up the effects controls for this clip and show you that we've got time remapping right inside here. And you can see it's at 100% and we need to actually enable the, the time remapping inside here. Now, the best way to do this, I think personally, is to do it in the timeline. Now, this keyframe that's showing right here is turned on by default, show video keyframes. If you right click on the little badge, by default, it is the opacity keyframe, but if you select the speed keyframe, you'll notice that it's in the middle, and if I hover over, it's telling me what my speed is, it's 100%. If I drag this down, you can see the percentage changes and the clip gets longer. If I want to change the speed or ramp the speed, this is what you see all the time in action movies. Ramping speed simply means that the speed goes from one speed to another, and there's a ramp in there. So if you hold the control key on Windows, command on the Mac and click, you can see it changes to a plus, click. Now I've added a keyframe in here. And if we enlarge this, I'm using my scroll wheel on the left. 
if I click and drag one side, you'll see only one side is changing. So the, the beginning on the left is 100%, and now we're gonna take this down to 18%, and you can see the clip gets longer. Now watch what happens. We go normal speed and then slow speed. And a cool thing is if you zoom in, I'm hitting the plus key on the top, if you zoom in and, and uh, move this keyframe, you can actually ramp the speed ramp. So we instead of going from 100% to 18%, we slowly move to that percentage. And if you go into the middle here, you can change where that occurs. So now when we play this back, it ramps in just like that. All right. Now before I go, let me just show you real slow-mo footage. This was shot on a, a phantom camera, which costs about as much as your house. And it's shooting at, uh, well, it can shoot at thousands of frames per second. This was shoot, uh, shot at, I believe, about 300 frames per second. And you can see there is an enormous amount of information there. There's no blurring in between frames. Every single frame is in there, and it is absolutely phenomenal. So the, the best way to really uh, slow down footage is to shoot it that way. Some quick ways to do that inside Premiere Pro, some down and dirty ways to do it, um, but uh, it's pretty simple and pretty fast, and ramping it up can give you some cool effects. So hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please take a moment and click on the subscribe button for Video Revealed. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to get you looking your best.